Hi everyone. Hi. All right, this is week 18. I have come to the home stretch of science videos. So this is week 18. The experiment is needles. We're gonna be making crystals with Epsom salt. CC Livermore tutors, we might change this up a little bit by adding in um, something with alum or um, washing soda or a different different element to have crystals grow right away. But here's the basic that I know we will for sure have. And if I make any changes, you know I'll be sure to let you know. Okay, so each class will have, um, these will be in the room. We will have samples of the crystals. Let me show you what they look like. Uh, let's see, these are, it's really easy to see them, maybe not in the video, but it's easy to see them on the paper. Um, these are a little bit harder to see because there's not color behind it. But these turned out beautifully. And finally, these ones. And this is what the students will look like when there's grow at home. Okay. That's pretty. They're just so amazing. Okay. So these will be um, the samples available. They really are fragile, so and they need to last for all five classes. So if you could please um, handle them uh, carefully, it would be great. Okay, now I realized in this moment I don't have the food coloring because it's at church, because I wasn't there on Friday. We were sick. We still are not well. And um, so it's still over there. So we will pretend to put a drop of food coloring in this water. So again, it's our handy dandy mason jars with measuring um, amounts on the side. We're going to, per class, uh, put in two ounces of water into this container. So we just need to do this once per class. Okay. Then we'll pop in a drop of food coloring since I um, pop in a little drop of food coloring, and two tablespoons of Epsom salt. And um, yes, Laquita, I know this is a teaspoon, but for demonstration purposes, we're gonna use this. I'll have a real tablespoon for you guys. Those are also at the church because we use them this week on week 13. So I'll have a tablespoon for you. And stir it or have your students stir it for two minutes. Now, the water that we use should be hot and not boiling. I have this hot pot here that boils water really quickly. So when you come in, just um, turn the water off so that it will cool down enough for when you're ready to pour your water in here and do the experiment. And make sure there's enough water, you know, that it's not going to boil away and then turn it back on before you leave for the next class. And that'll just keep the water warm. Okay, so give it a stir. We're gonna pretend two minutes have gone by. <coughs> so each student will have the little cup and lid. Have them write their name on the bottom of the lid with a Sharpie. And we're going to use a pipette to, uh, don't put it all the way down to the bottom where you're getting any of the undissolved salt. Try not to do that. It takes two or three pipettes to get, this one just was two, to get a thin layer that covers the bottom. We don't want really any more than that, otherwise it'll take um, a long time for the crystals to grow. The crystals won't grow during our science period, so if you have a book on crystals or you want to talk about some other crystals, you certainly can, um, or chemical reactions and those sorts of things. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so their name will be on it, and they'll put the lid on this and you can take it back to class and they will take it home with them at the end of the day and open it up and put it on their counter and the, as the water dissolves the crystals will begin to form and they really will be beautiful they I mean they're just quite lovely so that that's that experiment I kind of went through it fast but um, again feel free to Think of how there might be extra time and how to use that time um, to continue the dialogue or the questioning about um, 
about the concepts that we're learning here. One thing I will also have is I'll have an empty, or I'll have a, um, an empty container that actually will have a little bit of Epsom salt in it. So you can look at what the um, more crushed Epsom salt looks like, and then they can start making a hypothesis on what maybe the crystals might look like. And I bet that they can see how these are the, the larger formations of what actually is in um, the bag of Epsom salts. All right, that's all I have for you guys. I pray for you. I thank you. And Cece Livermore, ladies, I love you. And um, you're amazing. I'm so blessed. And so is our campus. All right, pray for me that I get better. And my children will get better. And I will see you all Friday. Bye.